have had conversations in the past about the application driven nature of this equipment. We have a machine that's going to bore better than anybody else. I mean, it's just a fact. Uh, we have uh, numerous customers that live and die by the 32 finishes that they have to create 36, 30 to 40 inches deep on this size machine. Here at Machine Fest, um, Methods Machine Tools open house in Sudbury, Massachusetts. Johnny, we're surrounded by so many kind of automatic CNC machines, aren't we? Yes, sir. The best on the market. Yeah, definitely the best of the best. And we stood in front of something actually that's completely unique. Even though we're surrounded by so many advanced high technology CNC machines, this is a very special machine. And it's made for when you've got kind of those two offs, those three offs, it's really hard to make those productively and commercially viably with a kind of standard automatic CNC machine. Why is that, Johnny? That we, I mean, that's our niche, is to be able to produce parts, especially complex parts, that traditionally you would have done on a manual lathe. Um, but we even, when we, the complexity of the parts today lends itself to saying, hey, I need a quick, easy to use platform that has a CAD CAM system on board to be able to do everything very nice and easily and uh, productively. Easy. Absolutely. And if yes. you want to be done dynamic like that, normally you would, I guess you would take on a, a manual lathe or a manual mill to do those one-off jobs. What's different about a Weiler machine? Weiler gives you the feel and the ease of use of the manual, but I have the full control that the CNC uh, allows me to generate various um, details that I have to have a certain skill set as a machinist to do manually, or I have to have form tools or I need to move my taper attachment, my compound, all the different things associated with manual machining that requires a certain skill set that we not, don't necessarily have anymore. Plus, it's not as productive as running a CNC. And the quality of the part is going to be consistent and on point all the time. And you've got a full Siemens control behind you. Yes. What is the kind of demo you're going to be showing to customers here at Machine Fest? What I want to be able to show our customers coming in to view this is to say, let me see what you're doing in your shop. Give me an example of a part that you're doing. And now I am just navigating through how I want to cut the part. So the strategy of cutting on this particular one, I would do the, my OD work. I would say I want to do complete machining as my strategy. So I want 150 thousandths depth of cut and just go in and answer my cutting parameters and allowance parameters. And what's the benefits of having a, a machine control attached to what looks like a manual machine? Why do you want to be able to set all of these, these parameters up? I want consistency because if I have to do this part again six months from now, I have that and it's not stuck in my head or in my notebook in my toolbox. It is on board in the computer just that I would have on any other machine or in my office as a programmer. I have that on board. I can pull this up if I make a quick example here and... And now you can draw the actual I'm profile drawing, that have you a want a machine. CAD CAM system here that I can come in and uh, generate a move. And then if I just have, if I want to make a 15 degree angle, I'm not setting my compound. From a machinist standpoint, I can quickly come in and see my tool path, just like I would if I was running a CAD CAM system. And I'm going to generate that to the, more or less prove out that my code is correct. Once again, I'm not looking at code. As a machinist, I'm not worried about code. I'm watching this, and if I really want to question where I'm at on the machine at any given time, I can sit here and watch my readout. As a manual machinist, I live and die by my readout or my indicators. I have that on board here, and I have it on board whenever I am running my parts. So if I hit execute cycle, I start off my cycle, which we've seen in numerous videos in the past, and then I just hit my green button and go. Cycle and now start. I just generate it, and assuming my tool is set correctly, how I'm approaching the part, all of the parameters are correct, I'm gonna make a good part and move on to my second one, or my first one's done, and somebody's happy that they got an immediate part out of, uh, that they didn't have to wait days. It was a matter of hours to get a part done. There's been a lot of work to put into the software, but what about the hardware of the machine? Because people might be doing, this is a two meter lathe, people might be doing some big components, big bores, and you've got to make sure that when you're making those big high value components, you don't get chatter that ruins a beautiful finish that would scrap the part. Correct, and that's where we're going to shine. Uh, we have had conversations in the past about the application driven nature of this equipment. We have a machine that's going to bore better than anybody else. I mean, it's just a fact. Uh, we have 
uh, numerous customers that live and die by the 32 finishes that they have to create 36, 30 to 40 inches deep on this size machine. They are very good uh, quality investment for your shop because it opens up the door to be able to do some of these harder to do applications that you may pass on because of your equipment. So for low volume, high value components that you can make uh, in good quality now and 20 years from now, that's a wireless machine.